Yeah, to determine what happens uh, or how to project it, first let's consider how the x, y, and z coordinates get projected from 3D onto the 2D screen. All right, so let's say we have our uh, camera here. So here's our camera, and this is going to be, let's say it's at a distance x, or let's move this uh, down further. All right, so here's how they get projected. So we have, uh, let's say this is this, this, this is the distance x, oh, so this distance x here, and there's the origin right here called O. And now what we're going to have is this is the screen. So the screen looks something like this. And then it goes like this and like that. And then let's say we are projecting this point onto the screen. So we're going to have to draw a perfect straight line from it to the screen. So it has to connect it all the way to the screen. All right, so let's say uh, instead of uh, this, so let's say we have this distance here to here is a thousand. So this is uh, the thousand that we're looking at. Erase this little thingy. All right, so from here to here is a thousand. But then from this point here, let's say this coordinates of this point are, uh, it goes from, um, let's draw this all out like this. Uh, this this coordinates has, I'll put a uh, dot 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 this way. I'll go in the wide side up, then the, the then downwards like this. Or let's erase this. So let's say from here to here is x. Then the, that's the x coordinate of it. And let's just say this point is x, y, z. And then it gets to this point where this point is. Let's say it's projected as x prime or just x with a dash. Yeah, x prime, y prime. And this is the projected coordinates of that point, like that. So we just project it through a straight line. All right, so that's the x. This is the z, and this is the y. So that's the y. Is this set up like that? All right. And now the next setup is, uh, let's say that's the um, projected line. Let now, I mean, this is the this is the point. Let's say the projected point now is going to be, and also let's finish this off. Let's finish the screen off like that. All right, like this. All right, so let's finish that off. And now this part right here, uh, this is going to be, it's going to have a new y and a new z. This is z prime, and this is going to be y prime like that. Or actually, let's uh, put the y on top there. All right, so that is the projection. So we have, we can have two similar triangles. And uh, we can see that here. I'm going to draw this uh, thin line across like that. So we have two similar triangles. We have the z, so the z projects up to the z prime, and we have the y projects up to the y prime. Uh, so I'll write this one as one, this one as two. So let's write these out. So we have the first triangle, so for the z, how it gets projected, uh, this goes from uh, just like this. All right. All right, here's fix that up. Let's move this over, so this is the one. And this is the z uh, parts. So we have the point here. This is at z. And then this this distance is x. And then this uh, this height is just z prime. And then this full length is a thousand. All right. And then similarly for the the, the uh, y, we have the top triangle like that. And this this goes from uh, from here from y to y prime. It's the exact same thing, but we're doing a with a y. So in fact, I'll just copy this exact same thing here, copy, and then paste, and then move this here. So we have the exact same thing. Then remove this with a y, y and y like this. Yes, yeah, so y and y prime. Let's go y prime. All right, so y and y prime. And then the lastly, those are, that's how the z and y get projected. The x gets projected wherever the x is, just goes to zero. So we just have uh, x goes to, to zero, so I'll write three. x goes to zero. So x goes to zero, like that. So we have the, the all the x's goes to zero. All right, so now we can determine a formula for the projection of both the y and z coordinates using similar triangles while the x coordinate just becomes equal to zero. So uh, x goes to zero and these ones goes to here. So we could use similar triangles and let's 
solve that out. Let's just do it for the Z and then it'll be the same for the uh, uh, Y. Like this. So let's say we have this. So let's set this up better. So like this. All right. And this is going to be our uh, point here. I'm going to write this dash dash like that. Or actually instead of a dash line, put a straight line like this. Whoops. All right. Here, fix that up anyway. So this is going to be a Z. And now what we'll do is we need a similar triangle set up. And this is going to be our angle theta. This is angle theta. And this is going to be a right angle. This is going to be a right angle. Um, let's remove that. So it's, it's just common sense right angle. And then this is going to be this height here is our Z prime. So then this height here is going to be Z prime minus Z. And likewise, this is going to be X. And now this, this distance here is going to be a thousand minus x. That's because this whole thing is a thousand. All right. All right. So thus we could apply similar triangles. So similar triangles like this. And for completeness, we could even write just write this out as tan theta equals to, well, you could have similar triangles z over 1000 minus x. This also equals to, well, this angle, you could use tan of this one. So Z uh, prime minus Z over, uh, this is going to be X. Like that. All right, so let's do some simplification. Uh, let's move this over to this side and then this over to the other side. So we get a Z X, Z times X equals to, now we have a Z uh, like this. Or actually, instead of that, uh, instead of this, we'll move the, we'll move the X over to the side and then this part and then th this separately, but keep the 1000 over X. So that's what we'll do. That, that's a better setup there. So we'll have a Z X, move this up top, Z X, and then uh, this is going to be divided by 1000 minus X, then plus Z equals to Z prime. And I'll just move that over. Uh, move the Z prime further so that we can multiply the top and bottom by 1000 over X. Like that. And then move this even further, equals Z prime. All right, so we do that so we don't change anything, just we have the same common denominator. And this is going to be now, uh, multiply that out inside, and then add those all up. So Z times X plus uh, Z times a thousand minus Z X over 1000 minus X equals to Z prime. All right. So what we have now is, you know, what we have now is a Z X uh, plus Z times a thousand. Well, these ones cancel Z X Z X. All right. So we're just going to be left with Z uh, times a thousand or a thousand. Uh, yeah, let's put it like that over a thousand minus X equals to Z prime. Uh, or what we could do is, well, I'll move this over. Yeah, I'll move this over to the other side. Just put Z prime equals and then just do some simplifications. Okay, move this over to this side. So we get a Z prime is equal to, is equal to Z times a thousand divided by a thousand minus X. This can be times it by, one over a thousand, so simplified, and then divided by one over a thousand. So we get rid of the thousands. So then what we end up having is final equation z prime equals to, well, a thousand cancels, we'll have a z on top, over a thousand divided by a thousand is, is one, minus then x over a thousand. So we just have one thousand there, so as opposed to two thousands there. Yes, epic, epic stuff there. So there is our, our projection. And similarly, I'll write down similarly for the Y, it's the exact same uh, triangles. So Y prime is equal to Y over one minus, and it's, it's still going to be the same X, so 1,000, uh, X over 1,000. Like that, epic stuff.